Hey guys, it's Daniel from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about Call of Duty World War II. So there were a ton of leaks earlier this week about Call of Duty being set in World War II. Uh, this is the main image that came out. Uh, there's also a bunch of box art that came out. And um, these leaks got confirmed by somebody named Shinobi. Um, he's actually one of the biggest leak people in the gaming industry. He confirmed Battlefield 1, he confirmed Black Ops 3, he confirmed Advanced Warfare. And the fact that he confirmed this game um, just basically means that it is going to be in the World War I setting. Now, he basically just said that the name isn't confirmed yet. It might not be called Call of Duty World War II, but the setting will be set in the Second World War. Now, we also have uh, various companies releasing like Call of Duty Control Freaks for World War II, um, toys from the World War II era for Call of Duty, just a ton of stuff that points towards this, and I'm just super hyped for it. We have some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay in the background, and um, I'm just happy that we're going back to boots on the ground. Now, I honestly do like some of the advanced movement games. Um, I like how they sort of changed it up, but after three years, I think it is time to go back to boots on the ground. Um, we sort of got hints from this because Sledgehammer started releasing a ton of World War II DLC guns into their game, and I'm pretty sure just as they started to develop the weapons for this game that's coming out in uh, the fall, uh, Call of Duty World War II, they just put them into Advanced Warfare, because why not? Um, and I feel that Sledgehammer will do a pretty decent job with this. I actually did like the gunplay in the game. Uh, the only thing that um, will end up hindering this game will be supply drops, or like weapon variants, or stuff. Um, this sort of Activision makes Sledgehammer do. Um, I feel that Sledgehammer overall though, besides that kind of stuff, will make it a pretty solid game and I have faith in them that this will be a pretty cool game. Um, I'm just super hyped. Um, if this comes out in the fall, I'll be posting a ton of it on my channel. Also, there will most likely be a beta for this and I hope it's an actual beta like in August rather than one like two weeks before the game in Infinite Warfare where it's basically just a trial and you can't really change anything in the game. Um, another thing that I'm super hyped about is Destiny 2, uh, that got, uh, the trailer was announced recently, and the trailer actually, as of right now, comes out in 3 hours when I'm recording this, it's like 6.50 in the morning before school when I'm recording this video, um, but we also are getting Battlefront 2 this year, Battlefield 1 DLC, we're getting a ton, of absolute insane amount of stuff this year, I'm just super hyped for all the video games we're getting this year, because it's going to be a great year of gaming. Um, especially with this Call of Duty World War II, if it is true. That doesn't mean I'm not going to stop posting Battlefield. I'll post Battlefield 1 DLC, maybe still even throw it back to Hardline in six months, and um, I'll always keep you guys updated on all the news and stuff, because most likely Battlefield leaks for the next year will start coming out around that time. And, I don't know, I'm just super hyped for this next year of gaming. I'm really excited, and I can't wait to start pumping out videos for you guys about all this new content. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what you think about Call of Duty World War II. I'm sure they'll be able to have enough content and stuff like that, considering World War II had many more weapons than World War I did. Uh, it most likely won't face the issues that Battlefield 1 faces. But again, that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.